Hey guys, this is Harsher and welcome back to Technolog. Now today was an MI event and they launched their third phone in the Redmi series that is Redmi 3S. Now this phone was very well awaited in India and I am really excited to talk about the top 5 things that you should know before buying this phone. So sit back and enjoy. So, first up, let's talk about the performance on this guy. This one has a Snapdragon 430 Octa-Core processor along with two options. One is with 2 GB of RAM and other one with 3 GB of RAM. Now, obviously, I would suggest that you should go with the one with 3 GB of RAM as it will give you extra better performance and your phone will run faster as well. So, overall on paper, the CPU performance is great. It also has an Adreno 505 GPU for graphics performance and trust me, gaming will be awesome on this device. So overall, the performance of this guy is really amazing for the price and I think you should definitely consider this phone when you're going to buy a smartphone under 10,000 bucks. Moving on, at number 2, let's talk about the battery life. Now as you may have heard, this phone has a massive 4100 mAh battery which is sufficient enough for 2 days of use. Now in these 2 days, you can keep Wi-Fi and 3G on for the most of the time and still the battery won't go down. Now if you are a person like me who doesn't like to charge his phone on a frequent basis then this is the phone for you. It has a massive battery which will run for 2 days and that is the best thing about this phone. So a very big thumbs up to Xiaomi. Moving forward, at number 3 let's talk about the camera on this guy. Now as you know this guy has a 13 megapixel rear sensor along with 5 megapixel front sensor. The rear sensor has an f2.0 aperture which is wide enough and it allows a lot of light to enter through it. So the camera quality is really amazing and the front camera is amazing as well. But it has one problem that it gets distorted in low light. So if you are the one who clicks selfies at parties then this is not the phone for you. Overall the camera quality has been upgraded from the previous versions and I love that. To have a great camera on a budget phone is really amazing and Xiaomi has done that. So great work Xiaomi. Moving forward, at number 4 we have the design of this guy. Now this one has a metal body unlike previous versions where it was a plastic or fiber body. Metal has a premium touch to it and it feels great in the hand. The design of this phone is similar to that of the Redmi Note 3 and it also has a fingerprint sensor on the prime version at the back of the phone. Overall the design is stunning and as we all know Xiaomi is really great at designing and this phone is nevertheless. The design is perfect, it has a 5 inch display which is the optimum display size. It is not too big, it is not too small and it fits perfectly in the hand as well. You can also put this in your pocket and it won't bulge out as this phone is really really thin. So overall with that big 4100 mAh battery, Xiaomi has still managed to make this phone really thin and that is a great job on a budget phone. So this phone is really amazing in terms of design and again well done Xiaomi. Last but not the least, at number 5, let's talk about the price of these guys. And this has two models, one is Redmi 3S and the other one is Redmi 3S Prime. The Redmi 3S has 16GB of internal storage and 2GB of RAM and it comes at a price of Rs 7000. The other one that is Redmi 3S Prime has 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage and comes at a price of Rs 9000. The Redmi 3S Prime also has a fingerprint sensor which is absent in the Redmi 3S. So that is kind of a letdown for the Redmi 3S. So obviously, I would suggest that you should go for the Redmi 3S Prime as it is an amazing phone. You get extra bit of performance, extra bit of storage and you also get extra bit of security with that fingerprint sensor. So that's it guys, this was my take on the Redmi 3S. Do let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. If you like this content, hit that like button and if you haven't yet, subscribe below as well. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.